How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. The request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Alienware M15R6 2021. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 15.3 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop with the bottom facing up. Using a PH0 screwdriver, remove the 8 screws from the bottom cover. Note that only the 2 screws at the top are fixed screws, the rest are captive screws, so just loosen them. It's advised to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing or losing screws. Prepare the triangular pry tool and spudger, and insert the triangular pry tool from the bottom of the chassis to separate the cover. Once inserted, move it up and down to easily open the bottom cover. After opening the cover, use the spudger to disconnect the power cable by pushing both sides of the connector out. After disconnecting the power, press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use the spudger to disconnect the power cables from both cooling fans. Remove the two screws securing the cooling fan. Disconnect the LED light strip. Stand the laptop upright and remove the two screws at the top of the chassis. Remove the top plastic piece, the black dust sticker, and the screw securing the Wi Fi card. Remove the Wi Fi card. Remove the two screws securing the left side SSD heatsink and then remove the heatsink and SSD. Do the same for the right side. Remove the memory by gently pushing the two side clips outward, causing the memory stick to tilt upwards, then gently pull it out. Disconnect the eight flat ribbon cables from the motherboard. Be careful not to yank them out. Lift the pressure clip on each ribbon cable before gently pulling them out. Remove the 11 screws on the motherboard. Be sure to also remove the metal plate and ribbon cable attached to the screws at the top of the motherboard. Slowly lift the motherboard from both sides with both hands to remove it. Flip the motherboard over and remove the three screws beneath the right side fan. Remove the subboard. Use a PH000 screwdriver to remove the eight screws securing both side fans.
Using a PH0 screwdriver, remove the six screws on the heatsink module in numerical order. The screws of this cooling module use a removable design. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Gently lift both sides of the heatsink and slowly remove it. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air for cleaning. Use the anti-static brush to remove dust from the fan blades and cooling modules. When using compressed air, maintain a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. Compressed air helps clean details and significantly improves dust removal efficiency. After finishing the cleaning, don't forget to clean the dust on the backplate. Step 5. Apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Next, follow the reverse order to assemble everything back. Gently place the cooling module back into place. Using a PH0 screwdriver, tighten the cooling module screws to about 70% first, then fully tighten them after all are in place to avoid excess stress. Use a PH000 screwdriver to tighten the screws securing the fans on both sides. Replace the subboard and use the PH0 screwdriver to secure it. Flip the motherboard over and place it back in its original position. Check that no ribbon cables are pinched by the motherboard. Secure the motherboard with the screws, including the metal plate and ribbon cables at the top.
reconnect the Wi-Fi card and secure it with the screws. Reconnect all ribbon cables except the power cable to the motherboard. Insert the memory by aligning the notches and gently pressing down until you hear a click. Replace the right side SSD by inserting it at an angle and aligning the notch. Reattach the heatsink and secure it with screws. Do the same for the left side SSD. Replace the black dust sticker and top plastic piece. Stand the laptop upright, then reinstall the two screws at the top of the chassis. Reattach the cooling fan screws. And reconnect the LED light strip. Finally, reconnect the power cable to the motherboard. Replace the back cover and snap it into place. Press the power button to start the laptop and check if everything works properly. Tighten all the screws on the back cover. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.